Assalamu alaikum. This is Amir Rahim, a traditional Muslim homemaker. And this is the part two of The Quarrelsome Wife. Mashallah. If you missed part one, you can go back into the YouTube channel and um, inshallah check it out, share it. Thanks for the feedback from it. It really prompted me to make sure I do part two. And part two is coming from the book Traditional Muslim Homemaker Thoughts of a Domestic Darling, which is available. Uh, you can see it's so worn, mashallah. Uh, but it's available on Amazon and also if you cannot get it on Amazon I will gladly give you the book mashallah via PayPal you can pay for the ebook um, also people have emailed me before that weren't able to get it with the PayPal or Amazon and so mashallah the purpose of the book is to help others and inspire inspire them I cannot withhold that from anyone so I pray that um, if you do need the book or you would like to read the book and you really cannot get it, please message me so I can please send it to you. So inshallah, let me know uh, in the inbox or in the email and inshallah, I will send it to you as soon as possible. So this is the section called appreciation and gratitude. I'm going to read a hadith about Prophet Ibrahim salam and his son Ishmael and inshallah if you're not familiar with the hadith or you would like to read it for yourself I will add it into the comment section so that way you can take a look at it firsthand inshallah so uh, after Prophet Ishmael salam's mother had died Prophet Ibrahim came to see his family who had who he had left near Zamzam Prophet Ishmael salam, was not at home when Prophet Ibrahim salam, arrived but his wife was she did not know who Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam was. So when Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam asked her about how they were managing, she started complaining about how difficult life was and how poor they were. Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam told her to give her husband the greetings from him and to tell him to change the threshold of the gate of his house. SubhanAllah. So when Prophet Ishmael alayhi salam returned, he sensed that something unusual had happened and he had asked his wife, if anyone had been there. Then she told him what had happened and what Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam said to her. Prophet Ishmael alayhi salam told her that that stranger had been his father and that he had ordered Ishmael to divorce her. So sometime after Prophet Ishmael alayhi salam had taken another wife, his father Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam again came visiting and again found no one home but the wife. However, this time when he asked her how they were doing, she cheerfully answered that they were prospering and she gave thanks to Allah for all their blessings. She offered Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam meat and water and he asked for Allah's blessings on the, all their meat and water. When he left, he told her to give his greeting to her husband and to tell him to keep the threshold of his gate. So when Ishmael alayhi salam returned home, he asked if anyone had visited. She told him all about the nice old man and the piece of advice he had given in his message to Ismail alayhi salam. From this message, Prophet Ishmael alayhi salam knew that his father approved of his new wife and had advised Prophet Ishmael alayhi salam to keep her with him. So, subhanAllah, I asked myself, if that were to happen to me, how would I have reacted? Well, then again, no, one's, no one need to ask myself because we are tested like this often. When friends ask us about our marriage, our family members, it opens the gate for us to start saying more than we should. Sometimes people do not have to access. We just volunteer our personal information and complaints to the world and finding all the reasons to complain. So how many times in our marriage would our husband be asked to change his threshold? If you answer often, then we need to reflect on showing more gratitude to what Allah has given us and not focus on complaining so much. Also, taking lessons from that, when men marry women, they marry the women they pray to have children with. A man does not want the mother of his children to be someone that is not grateful and constantly complaining. They will pass that on to that character to their children. It just so happens my husband tells me that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came from the lineage of Prophet Ishmael, who was married to the woman that was grateful and pleasant, not the first woman who had opened the door complaining. That says a lot, subhanAllah. Much wisdom from that hadith. It was great motivation for me, mashallah. And sometimes we have friends and family members that when they get together, they begin to complain about husbands or make you feel comfortable enough to complain about yours. At the end of that conversation, what was accomplished? Not a lot. 
a lot of backbiting, slander. Really, this excludes the family that gives us true Islamic counsel and advice. So next time someone opens the door, literally, how will you answer? Inshallah. I pray that is beneficial. And please message me if you need the book. Inshallah. Assalamualaikum.